Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi Guarneri. I'm the medical director at Pacific Pearl La Jolla, and it's really a lot of fun for me today uh, to introduce you to a longtime friend and what I consider a brilliant cardiologist, Dr. Elizabeth Kaback. So just in terms of history, Dr. Kaback and I go back to 1996 when we were both cardiologists at Scripps Clinic. And even more importantly, uh, she and I, as well as Dr. Kalina and Ronnie King, many people from uh, the Pacific Pearl, were running the Ornish program for reversing heart disease. So believe it or not, we have been practicing coronary disease reversal and preventing vascular disease way back into the 90s. So Liz, we're so happy you're here at Pacific Pearl. And so am I. <laughs> <laughs> it feels very good to be back at home. Good. So. Good. Now, you know, a lot of people uh, don't know you. Mm -hmm. I know you. And I know your background. And so, uh, when I think of Liz K. Back, I think of smart, brilliant, solid, steadfast, and unwavering. I mean, and those are the words I give for you. Now, and I mean that because you, when you set to taking care of a patient, you follow it through from stem to stern. Mm -hmm. How does that, does that feel right to you? I know you're yeah. gonna be shy. No, absolutely, feels right to me. Okay. If I meet a patient and they need to have a lot of things done for them to reach their goals in terms of healthcare, then I'm with them all the way until they get there. And if it's an acute setting, I'm all the way until they get to where they need to be so that I know that they're safe. So. I know that, and yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you, you don't know I'm gonna say this now. Now, there was a lady who came to us a number of years ago mm -hmm. whose ejection fraction was less than 20%. That's a squeeze of the heart muscle, mm -hmm. barely compatible with life. She didn't live in this state. Mm -hmm. I brought her to your office. Mm -hmm. I said, fix her, you know, how we say things. Mm -hmm. And uh, you hung in there with her living in another state. Mm -hmm. Tell us how she's doing. She's doing great, and her ejection fraction has improved. She um, is living a wonderful life, has moved to New York City, and is doing things she never thought she would be able to do. Right, and I have to tell you, if this woman did not come to Pacific Pearl La Jolla, I don't think this would have been possible. I'm not saying that from ego. I'm saying it because, one, she was distrustful of conventional medicine. Mm -hmm. Two, she was distrustful of taking medications. She trusted you because of your background in integrated medicine. I mean, mm -hmm. you have, you, you're an interesting background. I do have an interesting background. I did heart failure transplant. It's my first love of cardiology. Um, I think we can fix heart failure fairly easily. And I realized the patient you were referring to was a different one that I was thinking of, and the one you were referring to is doing fantastic. Right. We did baby steps along the way. She really was very mistrustful of um, conventional medicines, and given the state of our pandemic right now, and because she wasn't back and forth as much, she was very slowly but surely titrating up on her medications, and she's walking more than she's ever walked. She's walking up hills she couldn't walk up before. She's breathing easier, sleeping better, and hopefully will not need a device that she we thought she was going to need to begin with. But I think she's doing fantastic, and heart failure is one of my specialty interests in cardiology. Yeah, and not only is it your interest, you're a superstar at it, and mm -hmm. I will say that, and I can say that, mm -hmm. and you're, to me, your other sweet spots are genetics. You mm -hmm. have a love of genetics. I do. That goes way back before med medical school. So I did a lot of basic science research before I went to medical school, and um, it's always remained a, a very big interest of mine and something that I have um, always kept close at heart, and it's actually my first love of understanding of uh, disease processes and what's the best way to treat them. So with your background, internal medicine, cardiology, heart failure, devices, transplant, genetics, you go off and you decide to do a fellowship in integrative medicine. In integrative medicine, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. And it kind of runs the gamut. So I end up, I guess you could think of, um, or I think of when you say that when I came back to San Diego and I did my first A a B I H M meeting and you had encouraged me to go that and I heard 
Patrick Hanway talk. Mm -hmm. And he talked first about, started to talk about shamanism and ended it with epigenetics. And I thought to myself, oh my God, where did I just find myself? And it is exactly how I think, but had never spoken about that out loud. So uh, We're home. Yeah, we're, so I, I, like, home. I like to think mm -hmm. of us as bridge builders. We can live in the conventional world. Mm -hmm. You're as comfortable prescribing in Tristo and Keurig as you are saying, take your CoQ10 and your Omega-3 and get your diet right and your life right. Absolutely. And I'm going to, I'm going to just push you just a little bit because I know a little bit more about your background. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have a dad who mm -hmm. was up for the Nobel Prize three times. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty darn impressive. So you come from a science background. I do. I come from an academic family and a number of other people in my family have been physicians and my father probably the most successful and I guess it's in my blood. I don't think I could get away from it. No, no. I, I know you can't get away from it and you know I love you and you know I'm so happy to have you here because I feel like I have a colleague who is so strong and we have some challenging patients. We have well, this. We, we have some tough ones, and we get them through. We and do. Uh, I'm so glad we're getting them through together. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. I'm very happy to be. Here.